Welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. Today is Friday, August 23rd. Been busy this morning. Got a new vlog published as well as another what sold video. Let me give you a look at today's thumbnail. There it is. You guys know that lady. Top five Wonder Woman toys sold on eBay. You're interested in that. Go check that one out. Kind of an interesting search on eBay. So I continue to go through the toy section, doing some fun toy searches. We did Wonder Woman toy today to kind of see what's selling out there. The sell-through rate is not that great on Wonder Woman toys. Actually, there's a lot of them out there on the market and there's not as many sold. So uh, you can go check that one out to check the sell-through rate, see what is selling and see what's selling for big money. So uh, that's up now on the channel. So if you guys watched yesterday's uh, Day in the Life of a Reseller vlog, you know I was busy. I worked on uh, putting up three long form videos as well as shorts throughout the day and uh, just trying to get more views, trying to get more subscribers. And let's take a look at the analytics and see how we do. So it looks like all in all, we put up 44 different pieces of content yesterday, channel analytics show us that uh, the channel got 95,685 views the last 28 days watch time is up to 761 hours and uh, we checked the chart down here it was up and down up and down yesterday all my efforts it did go up a little bit so good news all the efforts paid off it went up a little subscriber count also went up we're up to 606 i want to thank everybody for subscribing me if you haven't yet hit that subscription button uh, as you can see people continue watching here's a look at the last 48 hours we have 5272 views i'm about to post some more shorts so that number should jump yet again so i've been using that uh, combination of long form and short form content to kind of grow the channel and uh, every time you post those shorts they do get quite a few more views than the long form content so we're going to continue with that try to grow that subscriber count and head our way towards that 1,000 and 4,000 hours of watch time. So we keep inching away towards it. And uh, yesterday we made a little extra content and hoping to get a little boost. It didn't create so much of a boost, but uh, we are on the upswing again. So we'll see what the weekend has to offer. We'll keep at it, keep posting these daily vlogs as well as those what sold videos and whatever else I decide to put up. Um, we're going to do some shorts a little later, like I said, but uh, let me take a second and reintroduce myself. For all you new subscribers, we're up to 606 now. My name is Brian Kingsbury. I'm a full-time reseller. I've got two eBay stores, over 6,000 items listed on eBay. And uh, this channel kind of details the ins and outs of the business. This vlog, we tell you what's sold, we tell you what we're buying, and of course we tell you what we're trying to flip for big money. So let's take a look and see what kind of action we had out of the big store today. So it looks like we woke up to just two sales for $27.56. So let's take a look and see what's sold. Item sold for $15.41. It's a small Reebok polo shirt. There you see it. Not sure why that ad keeps popping up. It's a small Reebok pink polo shirt, long sleeve collared polyester spandex blend. Woman's. There you see it. A nice looking polo by Reebok. So I actually did a video recently where we kind of took a look at the big three. We looked at a Nike, Adidas, and Reebok. We searched what's sold and we searched kind of what's selling for big money. We compared what was coolest, you know, the top five um, of each of the three or th we pulled five cool items. And I was a little surprised at how Reebok did. I mean, uh, Nike and Adidas, you know, they have some good shoes and whatnot, but Adidas was, I mean, Reebok was really uh, competing with them in terms of uh, creative, fun designs. Uh, they got uh, a, a pair of collab, was it a Jetsons pair of shoes? It was Jetsons and something else. You'll have to go check that video out to see those shoes. They kind of impressed me with the colors and the design and everything about the Reebok um, cool items. We're just looking for cool items and there was plenty of Reebok out there that was pretty cool. So you'll have to check that video out. Do the comparison of the big three and let me know which one you thought was the coolest. This next one sold for $12.15. This brand might jump onto the cool list. They sell pretty well lately, can compete with the big three. 
Is it uh, Adidas, Nike, Reebok, and Under Armour? Here we got an Under Armour gray men's compression t-shirt size medium short sleeve heat gear. So you gotta kinda keep up with the brands. I know Under Armour does sell pretty well, especially those compression t-shirts. Uh, people wear them like under their football pads come football season, or even, you know, out running to kind of uh, keep the heat in um, when the winter rolls around. So compression t-shirts always sell, and there's always plenty of them at the thrift shop. It seems like, you know, they wear them a season and then they donate. So you can find those quite regularly and make a decent amount of money off of them if you price them correctly. All right, I'm going to go grab those two items. We'll print some shipping labels. We'll add those to the tote. Uh, I already packed up uh, two orders out of the small store this morning. We did have two. Uh, we'll check that store out a little bit later and see if there was any additional action since uh, we looked at it this morning. But two orders out of the small store as well, so two and two. And uh, then we're going to get in that photo station and find some more inventory to list. we got to photograph some... Uh, um, invent some clothes we got some more clothes just waiting there to be photographed and listed I just got to do the work so we'll pack these two orders up get in that photo station I'll show you what we got and uh, get ready to do some listing this afternoon all right through the magic of video there they appear two orders ready for labels let's get them printed all right there they are here comes the label fresh off the printer let's get these labels on these packages and ready for the post office all right, we got two small store orders. Let's add two big store orders. One and two. All right, now that we got those orders packed up, it's time to head into the photo station, see what we have to photograph and list this afternoon. We got some stuff sitting out there waiting for us. Let's take a look. All right, there they are. Two stacks left to photograph and list. I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab from this side. This is mostly like pajama pants and athletic pants. And this, I think, is mostly women's sweatshirts and stuff. So we're going to do this side first, and then we'll deal with that maybe this weekend. We still have this stack of denim, some good Levi's in there and whatnot. We, we might get to that this weekend as well, but uh, that's a nice stack of money right there. So let me give you a quick look at this stack of uh, pajama pants. Not too exciting, but there's some good stuff in here. We should be able to flip for some good profits. Let's take a look. All right, so most of this I did pick up at the uh, uh, Goodwill, rather, for... $1.99. This is a Nike All Conditions gear, kind of, uh, I think they're uh, Capri pants. Here's a pair of uh, red and black pajama pants, and then we got the blue and black pajama pants. We got a pair of uh, Marvel pajama pants. They have an all over spell out Marvel on them. Another pair of pajama pants here. This is a Nautica sleepwear pants, actually and the green and blue pajama pants so we got all kinds of colors to offer and uh, here's some more athletic pants i think this might be women's i'm not sure it might be more women's capri pants we'll have to take a closer look and then the nice pair of gray savon savon extra large kind of like tights i think so there you have it some nice athletic and pajama so pajama pants are an interesting uh item to sell um, they don't have a huge sell through rate but I do find them and they, when they're in quality condition I can pick them up for $1.99 I usually do that and just list them when I have time they're not a huge priority but you get a nice stack like that uh, you know picking them up for two bucks so flipping them for you know 15 that's a decent amount of profit each item and there were some nice athletic pants some Nike all conditions gear that we might get a little bit more money for those brand name items like that and uh, items like Marvel, you know, people search that stuff all the time. So uh, some good quality inventory. We're going to get that stuff photographed and then we'll begin the listing process. All right, it's a little after five o'clock now. I've been listing these pajama pants, getting a few pajama pants listed. Those Nike Capri pants just finished listing those. Nice pair of pants should make a decent amount of profit off of those. But I think I want to get out of the office going to go for a little run around the neighborhood, get a few miles in, and then come back and continue listing. Hopefully get this stack of uh, pajama pants listed tonight, or at least the bulk of uh, them listed. So we'll see what we can get accomplished. That's the plan for now. So let's hit the road and uh, get some miles logged in. It's a little after 9 o'clock now. i got a nice run in. I've been doing a little bit of work, but I think I'm going to call an end to this day in the life of a reseller block. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content today and you'll come back for some more. Like I said, these drop every morning, so there's always a new one for you to watch. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when the next one drops. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.